Hey everyone, it's Daryl Pacific Energy. I want to do an in-depth review of the Tesla app on the phone. This is the only way to monitor your system. They don't have a desktop way to access it with your computer. It's just through an app only with a smartphone, either an iOS phone, iPhone, or an Android phone. So let's start at the beginning. Uh, you've got your solar system installed, your power walls are in, and you need to download the software onto your phone. On an iPhone, it's simply going into the Apple App Store. On an Android, you'll use the Android App Store. And using the search bar and typing in Tesla. And so just hit the blue search on the bottom. And it's this one right here. You'll see it. It shows the big red icon. That's the one. So I'm going to go back to my home screen just so you can see my app is already on the home screen. <laughs> Okay, you've downloaded the app and it's on your phone. One of the very first things you need to do is make sure that the app can notify you when the power is out. Otherwise, what can happen is your power can go out, you won't have any idea that it happens, your batteries drain all the way, and then you're without power, defeating the purpose of having backup power. So, many times, uh, when you first install the app and launch it, it will ask you if you want to get notifications. Most people automatically answer no, that's understandable. People don't want to get uh, bothered by their apps and sold things. Uh, Tesla doesn't try to sell you stuff with their app, it's just to notify you when the power goes out. So, if you accidentally hit no when it asked you, you got to go into your settings, find the Tesla app, click on it, and down on notifications, hit that, and turn notifications on. Make sure everything is on. In fact, I would to make sure you know that the power goes out, I would even change the banner, banner style to persistent to really make sure that you know when the power is out. Because that's the only way it has to notify you. You don't want to find out the power is out when the batteries are dead, because then it's too late. Um, so, with that said, I'm going to go back to the home screen and go back into the Tesla app. In your case, you'll see the solar on your roof and the number of power walls and the charge level. And so in this case, we're at 90%. Uh, before we go into what's happening in real time, I want to show you the settings. So I'm going to go scroll down and hit customize. And there's two different settings here and pretty much you don't want to touch the top two. Uh, you can change it, but we don't recommend it. So um, NEM customers, also known as net metering in Hawaii, you'll be on backup only. But the majority of our customers are either some sort of grid supply or self-supply. Self-supply meaning that you can't sell power back to Miko or Maui Hawaiian Electric, or you're on grid supply and you're selling your power back to them at a reduced rate, but buying it at full price, in which case, you're going to want to be in self-powered mode and reduce the power that you're buying from Hawaiian Electric. Most cases, I tell people to put your reserve to 5% and that's it. You don't need to worry about advanced, doesn't help you in Hawaii. And storm watch mode, you can have that on or off. I usually tell people to just turn that off and set your reserve. Instead of putting in the storm watch mode, you can manually simply change the reserve. So if there's a hurricane coming, you might set that to something above 50%, say 50 to 100% to, to make sure that you're going to have power in your battery if you're pretty certain that the power is going to go out. Uh, but setting it to 5% in normal instance will really help with the longevity of your battery. So I'm going to go back to the main screen. I'm going to go there. And so the first item is power flow, and this is what's happening in real time. So I'm going to tap that. Um, it's a, it can be anywhere from about 10 seconds to a minute behind reality. So, um, and a lot of that depends on your internet connection. Uh, if you're on Wi-Fi, it's usually much faster. If you're on cellular, it could be as uh, late as a minute. Um, so right now, 
The roof is generating 6.6 .6 kilowatts of solar. 2.5 is going to the house. What's left over, 4.1 kilowatts or 4.2, is now going into the batteries. Um, so it's always constantly trying to uh, minimize what you are uh, selling and um, drawing from the grid. So you can see the grid on the left is just sitting there and nothing's happening. So that's what you want. Um, I'm going to go back a screen. And so on the performance, you can hit this. This is a very simple way to see what's happening. This is so far today. I'm going to use the back button to go to yesterday. So in this case, this customer was 63% self-powered, 23% came out of the power walls, and 40% of the energy came from solar. Let's go to the previous day to that. That was a much better day at 81%. I'm going to go back another day. And that day was about 87%. Most people in Hawaii with our installs are usually around 90 to 99% self-powered. Um, so that's by the day. You can click on the, there and actually, instead of looking at every day, you can go look at it by the week. So you can see what that is. Let's go to the previous week. Let that load. And it's at 85%. I'm going to now look at it by the month. And we're at 81%. And now let's look at it by lifetime. So since we've installed this system, this customer has been about 76% self-powered. I'm going to hit the back button. And the next item down is backup history. This shows you when the power went out. So a lot of times if the power goes out for even a second, it will always show five minutes. And that is because the Tesla gateway, also known as a transfer switch, will disconnect for at least five minutes before checking again to see if the grid is stabilized. So you can see here that there's been 18 times. Uh, the grid is fairly unstable in Hawaii, at least on Maui it is. I'm gonna hit the back button. And uh, so back to the power flow screen, there's an additional screen that a lot of people miss that is really neat. Um, most people probably won't care, but a lot of us uh, geeky types will like to get in here and take a look at this information. It's these three little bars in the upper right corner. You just tap that. And so this gives you a really good idea of what is happening. So I'm going to look at yesterday. This is the house usage. Most of that looks like air conditioning compressor usage, all those spikes, okay? And so that was 107 kilowatt hour usage that the home used. I can, at the top, turn on these different items. That's the solar power, that's the battery, below the line is charging, above the line is usage, and there's the grid. I'm gonna turn everything off but the grid, and so you can see that most of the day it just used a few little spikes where it really had to. Uh, and I'm going to turn everything back on again and overlay all of the, that data. In fact, I'm just going to look at solar by itself. So that was yesterday. Had a little bit of some, a lot of clouds starting around 11 or so. I'm going to go back a day. Lots of clouds again. Go back a day. Much less clouds. It was a pretty good day. I'm going to go back one more. And there's a pretty full day, mostly sunny. And you can see that on that day, I'm going to turn everything back on, including that. You can see that he used very little power from the grid and sent quite a bit of power back to the grid. So this customer is on customer grid supply. So he was able to sell some of that power back and offset what he had to buy. Uh, but most, just about everything you know, most of his power was taken care of between solar and batteries. So I will get out of this and go back to the power flow screen and go back to the home screen. Um, I hope this was informative. And um, one last thing. So there's a settings icon in the upper left. You tap that and this is the notifications. You also need to make sure that that is checkmarked. So you don't want that unchecked mark, you want it checked looking just like that. 
so that you're notified if the power goes out. Then you can go back out and everything will look good um, and you'll be notified.